You may think that figuring out how to factor this into the product of two binomials is an awful chore, but these problems are actually quite easy when you use a system to unfoil them. You go through the system, and it helps you find what the answer is, or to determine if there isn't an answer. This isn't the case with all factoring problems, but it is true of quadratics in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. That's why quadratics are so nice to work with in algebra. The key to unfoiling these factoring problems is organization. Be sure you have an expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Be sure the terms are written in the order of decreasing powers. If needed, review the list of prime numbers and perfect squares. And finally, follow the steps. Try this example, which is written in the order of decreasing powers using unfoil. First, determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers to get a. Every number can be written as at least one product, even if it's only the number times one. So assume that there are two numbers, e and f, whose product is equal to a. These are the two numbers you want for this problem. Second, determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers together to get c. If the value of c is negative, ignore the negative sign for the moment. Concentrate on what factors result in the absolute value of c. Now assume that there are two numbers, g and h, whose product is equal to c. Use these two numbers for this problem. Third, look at the sign of c and your list from steps 1 and 2. If c is positive, find a value from your step 1 list and another from your step 2 list such that the sum of their product and the product of the two remaining numbers in those steps results in b. If c is negative, find a value from your step 1 list and another from your step 2 list such that the difference of their product and the product of the two remaining numbers from those steps results in b. Fourth, arrange your choices as binomials. The e and f have to be in the first positions in the binomials, and the g and h have to be in the last positions. They have to be arranged so the multiplications in step 3 have the correct outer and inner products. Fifth, place the signs appropriately. The signs are both positive if c is positive and b is positive. The signs are both negative if c is positive and b is negative. One sign is positive and one negative if c is negative. The choice depends on whether b is positive or negative and how you arrange the factors. Now let's try it out. Using unfoil, follow these steps to factor the quadratic 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 which is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c and written in the order of decreasing powers. First determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers to get a. You can get these numbers from the prime factorization of a. Prime numbers can only be divided by themselves and one. Here are some examples. Prime factorization is finding the prime numbers that divide any given value. Sometimes, Writing out the list of ways to multiply is a big help. Here's one example. In the example 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, the value of a is 2. The only way to multiply two numbers together to get 2 is 1 times 2. Second, determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers to get c. Remember in this example the value of c is negative 12. Ignore the negative sign right now. The negative becomes important in the next step. Just concentrate on what multiplies together to give you 12. There are three ways to multiply two numbers together to get 12. Remember to look at the sign of c and your lists from steps 1 and 2. The third step is to choose a product from step 1 and a product from step 2. In this example, c is negative 12 and b is 5. So look for a combination from step 1 and step 2 whose difference results in 5. Use the 1 times 2 from step 1 and the 3 times 4 from step 2. Multiply the 1 from step 1 times the 3 from step 2, and then multiply the 2 from step 1 times the 4 from step 2. The two products are 3 and 8, whose difference is 5. The fourth step is to arrange your choices as binomials, so the results are those you want. 
From the example, the following arrangement multiplies the 1x by the 2x to get the 2x squared, which is needed for the first product. Likewise, the 4 and 3 multiply to give you 12. The outer product is 3x, and the inner product is 8x. Finally, place the signs to give the desired results. This next example looks, at first, like a great candidate for factoring by this method. But you'll see that not everything can factor. Also, using this method assures that you've left no stone unturned. First, determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers to get a. Second, determine all the ways you can multiply two numbers to get c. Third, look at the sign of c and your list from steps 1 and 2 to see if you want a sum or a difference. The last term is negative, so you want the difference of the products to be 27. Fourth, choose a product from step 1 and a product from step 2. You can't seem to find any combination that gives you a difference of 27. Run through them to be sure that you haven't missed anything. Using the 1 times 18, crossing it with 1 times 4, gives you a difference of either 14, using the 1 times 4 and 18 times 1, or 71, using the 1 times 1 and the 18 times 4. Using 2 times 2 gives you a difference of 34, using 1 times 2 and 18 times 2. There's only one choice, because both of the second factors are 2. Do the math crossing 2 times 9 with 1 times 4, or 2 times 2, and you still do not get the desired result. Use 3 times 6, and then cross it with 1 times 4 and 2 times 2, and it won't be any better. Because you exhausted all the possibilities and haven't been able to create a difference of 27, you can assume that this quadratic cannot be factored. It is prime.